You may have guessed that Hodgen and I really love our cats. Like, really love our cats. The idea to make a cat hammock sprung from a viral video on Facebook I regrettably tagged Hodgen in. But nevertheless, the project began. Also, please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on future cat-related tutorials. The materials we used are as shown on screen. First we took two of the 1.2 metre beams and cut these in half. These will be the legs. Make sure you measure everything carefully before cutting. Then I marked how far down I wanted the support to be on the legs and measured how long those pieces needed to be. I did it this way to see the angle standing. I know, this seems like such an awkward way of doing it, but anyway. To make sure the angle was the same, I placed the top of the support pieces at the marks I made on the legs and matched the top corners to the edges. Then we drilled holes and fixed them together with chipboard screws. repeat for the other side. Next we used one of the long pieces we cut the support bars out of and attached this to the top of each side, again drilling a hole first and then using screws. Well actually on one side we didn't pre-drill holes because Hodgen thought it would be fine despite my warnings. It's not like I've been assembling furniture for a living for the past year or anything. Whatever. If the long beam moves between drilling the hole and inserting the screw, just put the screw through the side first and then match it up with the gap underneath. And then we sawed the feet so it stands flat. To do this just take a ruler or anything straight to make a line connecting the outer corners of each foot and saw the rest off. Next we added the base support. Take your leftover wooden beam and cut this to size, then simply drill a hole and screw together on each side. Now for the hammock itself, I wanted solid ends to keep it a bit steady. I used thin pieces of wood I already had and cut this to the size I wanted, which was about 29 by 3 centimeters. Then we drilled large holes in each end. And finally for the structure, we drilled four thin holes for the screw eyes. Make sure you don't drill the whole way through the beams, and then, of course, insert the screw eyes. And now let's sew the hammock! I figured out the total size I wanted the hammock to be, and then using some fabric I had from an op shop, I cut this out. First fold the fabric so that you are cutting double the width of what you actually want. Then fold the right sides together and sew up the length with a zigzag stitch. Now cut off the excess, turn it back out the right way and then you can hem the edges. Next we'll thread the rope through the wooden ends. Make sure you leave quite a bit of excess on the looped end and pop that end through the inside of the hammock. Now we'll sew on the outer side of the wooden piece with the looped rope on the outside of the fabric. If your sewing machine is able to, you can sew through the actual rope, but first make sure you have heaps of excess rope on the other side, otherwise you won't be able to tie this up later. Now push the wooden piece as close to the edge as possible and sew along the inside to keep it in place. Next push the ropes to the edges and place pins to keep these in place. Pin until you reach the point that the other wooden piece needs to sit. And now repeat the steps to keep the wooden end in place, so the outer side and then the inner. 
And finally, you can sew up the edges next to the rope and remove all the pins. Now we can attach the hammock to the structure. Cut the looped end and make a knot in between each screw eye and then repeat for the other side. And if you didn't sew through the rope earlier, you can now do this by hand. This is necessary as the fabric will slide in when your cats sit on it otherwise. Make sure the fabric is stretched out and then you can sew. And you're finished! You have an adorable cat hammock! We ended up putting a cushioned pad on top to add some more stability and now our black cat Toki uses it every day. So it was definitely worth it and it's super cute. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and check out my last video with Millie G by clicking the link. See you later! Let's see a new chain of restaurants that serves 100% only chicken. The drinks are made of chicken. <laughs>